Okay, so what is all of this Bible talk about the last days, the second coming, and the end of the world? Well, before we can make sense of the end of the world, one must understand the beginning. As we all know, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Fact number one, there is only one true God who created all things in existence, including mankind. Fact number two, the creator gave man the gift of free will and choice to either use, misuse, or abuse. Fact number three, man, along with rebellious spirit sons, rebelled and abused the gift of free will. Man was created perfect in the image of God. However, he chose to misuse the free will that the Creator had given him. Fact number four. Adam was to be the king of the human race and take care of the Creator's property. However, because he was disobedient, he lost the position as Earth's ruler. Death was his sentence, and it is yours as well. Fact number five. The Hebrew Scriptures, often called the Old Testament, is about God's promised Messiah, or Savior, that would come and save the world from the curse of death, one that could conquer even death itself. Fact number six. The Greek Scriptures, known as the New Testament, is about the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of the promised Messiah or anointed one. He set the pattern for judgment. Fact number seven. God has set aside a day in which he will judge the whole world and has put his son, the Messiah, in charge of doing this. How? Let's take a look at the last days. Fact number eight. The Messiah told his followers to look out for certain signs that will precede his return or second coming. Fact number nine, all of the signs are being fulfilled as we speak. Fact number 10, we are in the great tribulation, which also speaks of one of the most horrific global persecutions of Christians unlike anything that has ever happened before. This, in fact, is actually happening all over the world as we speak, even in the United States of America. In fact, the Messiah said that if he did not step in, and if those days were not cut short, that no flesh would survive. In fact, man would destroy man off of the planet. Fact number 11. At the end of the tribulation, immediately the sun will darken, the moon will turn to blood, or some scriptures say, will give no light, and the stars will fall from heaven. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear, coming on the clouds. These are astrological events that will precede his arrival. Fact number 12, when the Messiah comes in his glory and the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. Fact number 13, first, he will send out his angels to gather the unrighteous people, the sinners, the goats, the wicked, the bad seed, the evil servant, etc., and bring them before the king and judge. Fact number 14. Next, he will send out his angels to gather his elect, the saints, the righteous, the sheep, the meek, the good seed, the faithful servant, etc., and bring them also before the king and judge. Fact number 15. Next, the Messiah separates these two groups like a shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Fact number 16. All people will be judged by their deeds, 
and the acts that were recorded in their catalog of crime against a holy and perfect God and law. Fact number 17. The goats, or unrighteous sinners, will be cast into the lake of fire. Fact number 18. The sheep, or righteous ones, meek ones, will inherit the new earth, the new heavens and the new earth, and the gift of eternal life. At this time, those who are dead, those who belong to Christ, the true believers and followers, will be resurrected to life and will inherit a new glorified spiritual body. The remaining ones will get an instant glorified body in the twinkling of an eye. Fact number 19. Mankind will be at peace again in the new heavens and the new earth, and the Messiah will be king of the new earth. The new Jerusalem will be its capital. Fact number 20. Once mankind has been brought back into this relationship with the Creator, the Messiah will give the kingdom back to our Father so that God can be all things to all people and reside with them for eternity. God will reside with man again once and for all.